Hello again. Um, done some work on a user Chrome today. This is basically as simple as it can get. Just a hundred little lines here to give a basic style to Firefox itself and make it look how we want it to look. So, just like last time in the inspecting one, we found this URL here so that we could go and inspect the browser itself to learn what the things are called. And that comes in super handy. You can see here these are tab browser tabs, and they exist in the tab browser tabs. <laughs> and there's the nav bar, the UL bar, the tool buttons. But enough of that. We already know how to inspect. Let's look at what we've done. And it's just real simple stuff. But first thing we did was we set a background for our tab bar. I wanted it to be white so that these blue buttons would pop out on it. And then I wanted to make a nice fade with the tabs on the bottom. I did that by putting a gradient on the nav bar here, going from completely transparent white to completely opaque white. And you can see it gives this nice little fade down into the tab bar. And, uh, and then we got to work. Next thing we did was these toolbar buttons. Uh, this just throws a generic style on all of them. If you don't include navbar, it'll actually style toolbar buttons inside of here, it'll style them in the inspector, anywhere you've got a button, basically. There's toolbar buttons all over, so be specific about where you want them to be styled. And this is important here, this Moz Appearance None, or the Moz Mozilla Appearance None, this lets you override the default styles, and without putting this in for a lot of things, you're not going to be getting much done. So. It's always it's always good to add that to things that you want to have control over and change. For example, if I get rid of it here, the buttons lose everything. I mean, nothing works. So just remember that when you're making a user Chrome. And then I added a bit of padding. Uh, I gave them a background, a box shadow, and added a hover effect so that the color changes, and an active effect so that when you click them they sink in a little bit. And you can see they're independent, the hover and the click. And um, just real simple stuff. Used margins to move them down and move the box shadow up and the margins in so that they stay the same size overall, but they move around inside of that box. I uh, just did a similar thing to the URL bar. Gave it a size, a shadow, a border. Nothing too fancy there, but wanted it to match and then I started doing the tabs and with the tabs put some big fat borders on them and used a couple of pseudo elements to block it off so they'd look more like buttons um, as you can see here if I make this F00 that's red it puts a uh, big white border up top that's not what I was looking for at all <laughs> here's what I was looking for so yeah um, I just use triangles, just like in the, just like in the user Chrome. I use triangles to, uh, to shape things and give me a little bit more creativity when I'm working. And in this case, I'm using transparent triangles so that you don't see them, and then white triangles here to cover up the parts of the border that I don't want to see. Otherwise, that border would go right up to the top of the box and. It just doesn't look, it doesn't look as good at all. It looks pretty terrible here. If I get rid of these, you can see. They just, uh, they don't, they don't work, in my opinion. So, that's it. 101 lines, and it's a brand new Firefox. Uh, you can always use extensions, too. There's vertical tabs, things like less Chrome and one-liner that'll change the layout of the browser. I mean, you can get vertical tabs, or you can get your tabs on the same line as the URL bar and stuff, if you're into saving space. And just start with those, install them first, and again, go crazy. Inspect, style, and preview. And uh, that's all I've got for you today. But thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys next time.